So first things first, David, very good to see you again. How are you? I'm good, man. Good to see you too. I'm in good form and it's good to be at Lowlands. This is the first place that I played outside of Ireland five years ago. <laughs> it's very interesting because I saw a bit of your set that you mentioned with uh, Unholy Ghost that you kind of in interrupted the song and kind of went, yeah. well, this is the first time I'm playing it in this country. Yeah, I forgot years. to say it at the start. So before <laughs> the last verse, I just said, oh, I'm sorry, sorry for the interruption, but a little bit of a backstory, you know, I wrote this on a train going from uh, Amsterdam to Cologne. Yeah, and I did a, it was a, se a film session or something. And so I was like, it just felt, I don't know, I, I, the Netherlands, trains in the Netherlands have been good for me. Mm. I wrote another song on the train yesterday. Okay. So I thought, yeah. This, this is, this is stretch me, but what is it about trains? Is it just the rhythm of it? Rhythm. The landscape you're in you're trans you're in transient but you just it's like luxury because you can just be reflective you're going somewhere but you're not going anywhere you're not moving physically mm. you know sure, sure. so it lends itself to like just reflecting or for me it was the actual thought yesterday uh oh i wrote i wrote in a holy ghost i was thinking back and then i was like well i might try to write something else and another another song came you know so it gives you, I don't know, it gives me a bit of confidence being on a train or something. You just, you don't have to interact with people as well. You just <laughs> watch. So, so whenever you have writer's block or anything, you can just hop on a train and- You use the trains quite a lot now in Ireland, yeah. Up and down to Dublin from where I'm living, so. Nice. Love do, the trains. Do you need to be in a certain mindset or mood to write? Um, it doesn't really discriminate, but I think it helps if you, well, you're going in with an intention. You're going to be meeting a blank page mm. with the intention of trying to, you know, come to some sort of conclusion, I think, you know. So the page is almost like a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a challenge, you know, like a blank page. Sure. Right, no, but, or it's like a blank canvas. But, um, no, because I've written songs and I've been really messed up in the head and then I've written, I've written songs and I've, I feel very zen, you know. So it's, I just write. I write. I write constantly because it makes me feel good, and that's why we do things. Because the motivator is to we want to feel better. That's why we. That's why we do things, whether we're conscious of it or not. We're motivated by wanting to feel better or to feel like connected. The last time we spoke, you we we talked about you kind of having this this transformation of sorts, and then kind of arriving at the point where, where you felt more in tune with yourself. So so with that in mind then, how does that affect the songwriting? Do, do songs change? You mentioned just now you can be in a in somewhat of a bad mood or, or bad place when you write. So so does that affect the type of song that comes out? Yeah, because it's like channeling a certain emotion right. or, or, or a certain confusion or a certain like assurance. But the whole thing of being at a, a being more aligned or being more in tune that's like ongoing and that that goes away you know, and you feel totally out of whack or at least i do for periods and then it's trying to navigate back to a place where you feel kind of okay and that's where i'm at at the moment I, like i realized last week that a lot of my behavior was motivated by what i thought uh you thought about me but mm. how could I know what you, you I can't do your right. thinking for you but that's how you get this perspective um, and you go oh, what's that, that? you know I was only being this certain way because because that's where writing comes in that's where it's an investigation you know who am I what, what's motivating me to, to you know and if you're at, kind of grating against yourself you say, well there's a reason for it there's a reason why you know uh, people self-destruct it's just only mm. that's just a symptom of what's sure. going on sure. it's a lack of like it's a lack of awareness it's a lack of connection it's confusion so we go in circles trying to get a bit of clarity and uh so that came upon me recently you know like i was more i was i my 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 uh a lot of my self-worth was determined on what i thought you thought of me you know, yeah. which is a, like delusion anyway, but also it's like, so once I saw that recently, 
I mean, it doesn't mean I don't care what people think of me. It's just I'm not hung up on. Uh, I'm not as uh, well. I, have, I can see it, so it's not like the driving force. Because you're either like conscious of it or you're not. Mm. Especially when you're like do, have to do things like this. <laughs> the first time I was here, I was a kid, like you know what I mean. And I had to, you know. And I've seen that interview back, and I'm so like, you know, kind of endearingly naive. <laughs> you know what I mean? And sure. I said, I think, I, oh yeah, there's not much poetry left in the world anymore, you know, because like, I was, so, I was so green, but like my heart was open. Mm. Whereas now there's loads of poetry in the world. You just have to look for it. But as, as an artist, isn't it kind of the plight of an artist to, to subject yourself to the opinions of others? Because I can remember that, I, I don't know if it's Yeats or somebody, but um, that poem of, uh, but I being poor, I've only my dreams. Uh, I spread my so dreams before you tread softly before uh, because you tread on my dreams. So is, is that kind of, as an artist, is that inev inevitable that you kind of start to yeah. look at what people might think of you? Yeah, sure. I think so. And like you're, you're, you're opening up, you're, you're in a position of vulnerability, especially mm -hmm. as a young person, only speaking of myself. You know, I never had any kind of uh, confidence or self-worth mm -hmm. until I kind of got into the ring uh, and because uh, you're you have to motivate yourself to get up there in front of people and say like express yourself and be 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 uh, in a position of risk you mm. know so that takes guts and but also it's like there's such a reward and a gift in being able to express yourself um but it does it does it, it, you can let it in that's what i'm saying about this awareness recently because i want to i'm releasing an album in november I'm releasing okay. it myself, self-releasing it. Okay. It's called Crude. And it's me like going back and coloring outside the margins. The song sounds primitive, it sounds crude. It sounds like weird and idiosyncratic, but that's that's what's filling me up right now. Mm. I'm not worried about getting played on the radio anymore. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, right, yeah, sure. It's like, because I have to, I have to be honest in what I'm doing. I want myself, David, as a person. It's about true expression. Yeah, yeah, I'm not worried about like like it's just pressure. Like bringing the band t to Europe costs a lot of money, mm, sure. so there's motivation. But the first things first, I have to be like speaking the truth to myself in my songwriting and making the music that I want to make. And I'm as sure in that now than I've ever been before, because mm. I know when I'm bullshitting myself, because it's me that. that <laughs> You know what I mean? You, you know, you know, you, you know within there, if you're being, you just know, you know? Sure. And uh, like growing up in a certain way, like with interviews and gigs over the last five or six years, it can be a, it can be a dangerous place when you're trying to like build some sort of, pe you know, life for yourself outside of this bubble. Mm. But the, the journey that I've been on in the last 12 months, Things have shifted. The goalposts have shifted. I've got a great band. I'm releasing this next record. It's a solo project. So is, it, is it with the band? Uh, no, but we've made an album. Okay. There's, an, there's a record with the band that's going to be coming out next year. Okay. But because I'm going to be on tour, just me for the rest of the year, I wanted to put out a, a record mm. that represented that. And, um, I don't have. A, I'm not with a label at the minute, so right. I'm free to do that. Right. You know, and then, and then the, doing gigs. Every penny goes into. Sure. But that's what that's where I'm at, and it's like, yeah, it's graft, and it's it's what I need, instead of just handing over how my music is delivered to a series of people in the middle. Do you know? So that's not kind of that's not the kind of art, artist I am. Do you know what I mean? How is your? What, what have you noticed about your writing recently? That you you mentioned you wrote a song yesterday uh, or today in the train. Uh, what have you noticed about the writing recently? Is it more introspective? Is it more observant of the world? How, uh, where, where is your mind going then? Uh, where is it really? I think, my, I think the songs like are, are pretty consistent in the sense that they're all about trying to find like uh, to connect and to be a belonging within myself or with, like within society or within within ideas you know mm. but like recently i um i just feel freer to not to to there's there's been a shift that i don't feel like i have to like 
prove myself to myself. Right. Do you know what I mean? And like right. try to impress like myself by, you know, deliberating or, or trying so hard. I'm not like, oh no, I, I've not got, forcing. No, my anymore. shoulders have dropped, and like mm. when that happens, you just have more freedom. So like, I don't give a fucking shit. Well, people, this is this. Yeah, that's that's interesting, or that's 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 me being you know whimsical, or that's me being oh that's you know that's a bit dangerous saying that, but you know. But you, you do write about the human condition and kind of uh, a lot of aspects surrounding that. So is there anything that you've observed lately, or something that occupied your mind? Um, well, I think the big thing is like. Um, that whole thing about per perception mm. and you know asking harder questions of myself trying to figure things out you know really look at them and um and not try to hide behind irony all the time do you know what i mean do you know it's, it's just try to be as open as possible and just thinking about that how can i do that more but like it's more musically really that i've kind of okay. been looking at that because the reason I went and made this new album is because the band, we had done a record. And then I was saying, well, I don't want to get lazy just in a grid up there with acoustic guitar. And I've got these boys expressing themselves around me. And I'm sitting there just like like a, like a, like a mannequin. Mm. So like I want to be challenged. What else can I do? So as a result of that, I went into the studio and like got strange with sounds and playing the guitar with a bow and all this kind okay. of shit. You know? so, Those were very experimental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is for me. It's like new territory for me, just mm. me. Um, and then I can focus more on the, this other record next year when there's more of a, a plan. Yeah, well, when you play with the band then, yeah, do you let your bandmates kind of free in, in what they do around you? Or is that, do you kind of dictate that? Oh, uh, yeah, there's, there is. You gotta let, you kind of let them, yeah. You give, give someone space to kind of mm. dance uh, and, and musically, you know, but um, the songs like come pretty fully formed okay. and it's just about letting someone be themselves then so i don't want to be a, i don't want to be in a band like with five meet five davids or whatever you know you've got somebody gives you a certain feeling and makes you feel a certain uh, yeah, yeah, just trust uh, so there's louis for instance on guitar he's going to come in it's his voice it's his presence or connor or harry or and it's always been beneficial i've been lucky that i've always kind of like met certain heads at the right time mm. you know and the songs have just been being uh, affected by good players you know you've written as you mentioned kind of two albums in the last i, I don't know in the last period yeah last few months yeah the last few months yeah. uh, what made this such a prolific period for you uh i got sober mm. fair enough yeah <laughs> well, was that necessary? Yeah, yeah. It was for me. I was just miserable all the time and tortured, you know, and just unwell. Do you know what I mean? I was just trying to, I was trying to, I was just trying to get the temporary fix. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. Like, getting to a place where you have enough pain and you're going, ah, do you know, what I have to do. So I have to take a different approach here. You know, so that's honest. That's that's the honest truth. It's been, it's been. Uh, it's been a real challenge like but it's been a, it's been so beneficial for me for me personally you know just in every which way like it just i didn't know you know you can't you're so you suffer for for a certain amount of time you don't know that you don't have to suffer you just suffering just becomes a part it's just baseline suffering you know what i mean it's like i don't have to feel like this but that takes like a series of events and sure. it takes it takes it takes a uh, it takes acceptance, but it takes honesty. Just gonna, this is not fucking good for me. And I have to look at things inside of me and, you know. But it, it's part of it also when you're young, I can imagine, uh, especially as a, somebody who's creative, some, some people might say they need it or they, they kind of need certain uh, experiences to, to write about so, so was that part of it that, that kind of that romantic idea of, oh, of this yeah, artist sure sure yeah yeah sure I think when you're young you want to be a writer in Paris you want to be you want you, you, you want to reenact all these things you read about of course of course you know but um, it just started taking over everything you know and um, 
the way I play and the way I sing, uh, you know, it's not, I'm not in a post punk band where I can kind of hide behind the kind of mayhem. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. I have to, I have to be present. I have to be. Otherwise, it's it's awful, you know. And you know, it's, so. But beyond that, it got to the point where I couldn't even enjoy music anymore because it wasn't like I was, uh, you know, I wasn't uh, setting world records or anything like that. But um, it was just a symptom of what was going on. I wasn't going on inside of me, you know. So, um, like I said, you don't notice a choice until you, you kind of become aware of it and then... Well, I'm not going to be a poster boy for any, you know what I mean? Just, this is just where I'm at today, Fair you know? Enough. So, Fair enough. yeah. Last question. You mentioned that first album coming out this year, uh, which yeah. is basically you by yourself. Do yeah. you have a title for it? Crude. Oh, sorry. You did, you yeah. did say it. It's why, crude. Is, is that why? Well, yeah, that was the, the kind of, yeah, that was the, that was the, like, the ethos. Because I'm not going to go in and be Miles Davis. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you, I, you I play guitar well. I play guitar. I play my own way. But it's been able to give myself permission to go, this doesn't have to be your raison d'etre. This doesn't have to be like, this is just, put out a record, put out another record, clear some space, put out a record. For the sake of it, in a way. Well, I'm going to be on this tour for, for the rest of the year with, with Counting Crows as a support yeah. act, playing right. bigger venues, you know. So I want to be able to push something that represents where I'll be at on that tour. And also, I, you know, as I said, I'm... I've got my own label. I'm doing gigs and funding this record, but it's only going to be 500 copies on vinyl, yeah. and I can stand behind that for the rest of the year, and then, you know, release this re this other album with the band in the new year. So I feel like, wow, wow, you know, blessed to be able to go. I can indulge in this for 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 a dahi, you know, and then in the new year I can do this other thing, and I can hold my head a bit higher when I'm, you know. I'm doing the solo thing and same with the band. It's just taking on more responsibility instead of handing it over mm. to, to because of fear. I can't do that or, you know, and I got bored of just playing the acoustic guitar. I need little colors to make it more interesting. And this new album is that. Yeah. <laughs> can't wait to hear it. Then. Yeah. Can't wait to hear <laughs> we'll it. See, we'll uh, see. When in the fall? The 11th of November it's coming out. Okay. Yeah. Well, can't wait to hear yeah, it, David. Yeah. As always, Thanks, pleasure. Really appreciate it. Always. Great to see you. Yeah, Thanks, you too. Dude.